Scorpios. Welcome to Water Baby Tarot. This is your love reading for the first half of December for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. As you know, love readings are not just love readings. They can apply to work, family, friends, what have you, even just self-growth. Don't know why I felt the need to say that. I used to say that like over and over in my intros. I feel like it just needed to be heard. I don't know why. That's interesting. So maybe this is not going to apply to romance for you. Um, but Scorpios, let's just, let's, let's just dive right in to the meditative session that I had, okay? My mouth is kind of funky today. Scorpios, as I was meditating on your energy, I felt a lot of interesting stuff. Uh, the first thing I saw was a clock tower. Uh, you might be feeling like time is of the es essence. <laughs> you might be feeling like time is of the essence here. You could be feeling a lot of pressure to do something or to get something going or that maybe time is running out on something or that um, something's ending. Because that, that can also be indicative of that, right? Uh I was feeling a lot of family too around you or your family's on your mind, Scorpio. Uh, family's on your mind, okay? Um, which isn't surprising. It is the holiday season. It's the holiday season. So a lot of people are thinking about family. Oh, <laughs> some of you could be worried about your biological clock, okay? Some of you might be really hearing it really loudly in your ears, okay? You know, metaphorically speaking. Uh, I do feel like you've had a major shift of focus, Scorpio. I feel like you're no longer putting energy into something that you either once had passion for or someone that you're really interested in. I feel like for a lot of you, it's someone. Some of you could just be work-related or even a project or a hobby, whatever it is for you. Um, but I feel like your focus has really shifted a lot, like drastically. If you were really into someone and you had the hots for someone, you're no longer interested. You're just like, meh, <laughs> I'm not going to put any energy here. Let me focus on things I need to focus on. And I feel actually I'm getting clearing path, like clearing the path, clearing a pathway for you. I don't know why I feel I need to play with the cards. Sorry, I'm ADD. I've got a lot of weird energy today. Um, let me just play with the cards while I talk to you guys about the meditative session. Sometimes that actually helps me get more messages. Uh, Scorpios, you're clearing a path for yourself. Um, you're very determined. I feel it. You're you, whatever you've shifted your focus to, whether it's a person, a relationship or a job or whatever it is, this shift of focus feels really strong. You're really determined. You're willing to burn the midnight oil if it's work related, if it's work related and I'm like attention, something about attention, but I feel like you're getting a lot of attention. I feel like because you've shifted your focus, everyone's like, Whoa, Scorpio, what's up? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, if y'all were like working hard, working hard, you just got up and left. And people were like, where the fuck is Scorpio going? You know what I mean? So either way, you're getting attention. But I feel like you're wanting to also get is someone else's attention. Sun and Reverse just wanted to come out. Um, which actually, which is attention. And then we have Ace of Swords on the bottom. There's some kind of um, spotlight or like looking at something that you, I feel like you are bringing attention towards. I feel like you're bringing attention towards a truth. Towards a truth or you are illuminating something or you're wanting to illuminate some kind of truth. Some of this is humanitarianism or like volunteering, volunteering, excuse me. Yeah, whatever the shift of focus is, it's, it's illuminating something or it's bringing up some kind of truth. And I feel like some of you are intentionally doing this, uh, intentionally shifting your focus to shine a spotlight on something or someone. You're getting a lot of attention, but at the same time, you're wanting to direct attention. Some of you, whatever the shift of focus is, could have been part of a plan. Getting a whole lot of messages for you, Scorps. Could have been part of a plan of like, I need this truth to come out. So if I need attention over here, I'm going to make sure I get people's attention by doing something drastic over here. So that once I have their attention, I can do it, shift their focus here. You know, it could even be something like that. Like, God, that's so elaborate. Scorpius, it's only going to be for like a few of you. Like maybe there's something going on at work where you're just like, that person's fucking up. And I want people to notice. <laughs> almost like if if you say it no one's gonna believe you or something like that like you want them to tell on your tell on themselves but it's like you know what let me do something drastic over here so everyone's eyes are on me and then once I have everyone's eyes I can shift the focus on like look what you ain't seeing very scorpionic by the way <laughs> that's very scorpionic oh my god okay anyways Scorpios let's let's keep it going um I do feel this energy of time I can't shake this energy of time here um for some it really is time is running out on a situation and it's just coming to an end you know just like a sunset energy others there's like there's a crunch moment like some of you're feeling really pressured in a time sense to do something get something done change something illuminate something see anyone else wants to come here i just all of a sudden i just feel really open with you guys i do feel an emperor energy you guys could be building your own business you know becoming your own emperor here feels very masculine wow the sun in reverse came 
it was in reverse and then I dropped it. Now it's upright. That came out again. And then seven of pentacles in reverse. Yeah, I'm again, I'm getting time with this. Like a waste of time or a bad investment. And page of cups wanted to come out too. You are bringing attention to something, Scorpio. And it's because whatever the shift of focus is feels very dramatic. That's what, that's, yeah, it's like the attention is following you. Oh, so interesting. Yeah, the attention is following you. Whatever drastic move you're making, the eyes are on you. And whatever you're illuminating, that's why it's being shown. That's why it's being illuminated because the eyes are on you from this drastic move. Either that's, you're, you're showing that something was a waste of time or something was a bad investment. Some of you are really highlighting other people's mistakes. Yeah, some of you are really highlighting other people's mistakes. Some of you intended this, some of you didn't. Six of Pentacles just came out. I'm getting actually justice with this. It is the minor arcana to that, to the major justice. Well, I feel like people are going to you. You're getting a lot of attention, Scorpios. I don't, yeah, this is weird. You're getting a lot of attention, but you are intentionally trying to get attention on something else. But I feel like people are coming to you. They're coming to you. Oh, Scorpios, okay. Whatever truth you're illuminating or whatever's coming to light because attention is following you and you're just revealing that, which is a very typical Scorpio thing. Scorpios just reveal truth. We just, you know, Scorpios just do. Um, I feel like people are actually going to lose out on something financially. I don't know what that's about, but I'm getting almost like people are asking you for help because of that. Oh, oh, that doesn't feel good. Oh, yeah. See, Seven of Swords in reverse. There's something really funky going on, Scorpios, and it's almost like you're the whistleblower and people are going to be asking for your help. Ooh, okay. This is like, this is starting to give me the chills. I kind of don't like it. Okay, Scorpios, let's go ahead and get into the pre-shuffle. So I'm getting that charity energy again. Some of you might be um, setting up your own like nonprofit, which is really cool. Good for you. Because I do feel a helping energy. People are literally asking you for help or you're taking on that role of being able to help people. That's for some of you. Keep in mind, when I get intuitive messages like this, they're not for everybody, obviously. So please only take what resonates. Please bring forward any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the first half of December. Please bring forward any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the first half of December. Something's feeling prickly. That's weird. Do you need a shave, Scorpio? <laughs> Something, something's literally feeling prickly. Really uncomfortable. Really uncomfortable. I feel like it's a situation. It's almost like making you stand on edge a little bit. A little on the defense someone else could be feeling this way you guys know how messages work everything can be vice versa it's energy it's fluid by the way if you're not used to energy work or watching tarot readings please watch the video below on how to interpret tarot readings as a viewer it will help you a lot answer a lot of your questions mm, ten of wands sag energy indicative of work like i said a lot of you this is about your work but it's also an energy of burden scorpio's I think whether you realize it or not, you've been holding on to a burden and the shift of focus, I think, is allowing you to drop it. It feels like the shift of focus is necessary, whether it's the burden of a person, a relationship, a way of being, a job. Scorpio, I'm just hearing some of your inner dialogue. Uh, some of you feel like you were born to carry a burden. Careful with that line of thinking. Don't want to manifest your own destiny with that. Um... But that's what I'm getting. For a lot of you, this is this is a person that has been too burdensome for you or put too much expectation, too much expectation on you or put too much on you. Please bring forward any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Scorpio, and you're putting it down. I feel like you are putting it down by shifting this focus. Someone's true character will be revealed. I feel like you really are, again, some of you intentionally, some of you not intentionally whistleblowing on, on I actually I'm getting the word sleaze back, okay? <laughs> sleaze bag or someone who's a fraud whoa a fraud a fraud some of you are exposing a fraud oh my god okay please bring forward any messages of truth healing and love for those who need it some of you have been knowingly carrying the secret some of you 
whatever you're doing, shifting the focus is doing something to this person who's a fraud. And it's almost like they will tell on themselves. This truth is coming out in various ways. Some of you are planning this whole thing. Some of you are not. And it's just the nature of a Scorpio to bring truth to light. Okay. Please inform any messages of... Uh, ooh. Oh, this feels really awful. Five of Swords, Venus and Aquarian energy. Some of you will be finding out for the first time you're dealing with a fraud. It's going to make you really angry. That might be why you have to shift your focus. I feel like the shift of focus is coming before that. And whoever this fraud is, they didn't expect you to shift your focus. So it's throwing them off. And when you throw when you throw a con man off their game, the con tends to be realized, right? Oh, shit. Scorpio, what are you getting yourselves into? Well, it's really getting out of. You're really getting out of this kind of environment because you're shifting your focus. There's something really like... It just feels really... I don't even want to use the word maniacal. That feels like almost too... Not even harsh of a word, too big of a word for whatever's going on here. Whatever this this burden is, you're dropping it. Whatever this fraud-like situation is, I feel like you're removing yourself, but you're removing yourself is bringing attention of others. And that's what's going to make the truth be revealed. It's almost like the pressure of attention, the pressure of eyes on someone or something. Please report any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the first half of this. Ooh, okay. Wow. Yep, there you are, fool. <laughs> Which is Aries. Could also be Uranus because it's Aqua. Temperance Universe, Sag. And then we have the two of Pence Universe, Cappy. Yeah, again, this temperance energy. I'm getting like something unhealthy or something that's just like, the, it's run its course. It's run its course. Yeah, you're leaving something behind that you really do need to leave behind, Scorpio. Okay. Very interesting stuff. All right, let's go ahead and get into your actual reading here. For those who are new to tarot or new to my channel, please know messages are very general, okay? They are not for everybody. Messages come through for those who need to hear them as you heard me set the intention, okay? If it's not your story, don't get mad. Don't throw hate. Don't throw shade. Support others who is who are receiving their message through this reading, okay? Um, also, guys, we are working with energy, so just know messages can, it can be reversed or vice versa. Energy is fluid. It's not linear. So it's going to apply to you, your family, your friends, your your career. I keep, yeah, I wanted to do that old intro all over again. Um, if it's resonating with you, you know who you are in the story, and you know how it's resonating, okay? Don't try to make it fit. Do not try to make it fit. All right. Uh, don't get caught up on the gender of the cards either. We all have masculine and feminine energy. This is for the first half of December, but time is also fluid. It's not linear. So whenever you're guided to watch a reading is when you're guided to watch it. Okay. Any messages for Scorpio regarding love for the first half of December? Any messages for Scorpio regarding love for the first half of December? Any messages for Scorpio regarding love? Four of Cups in reverse. I feel like you're doing the rejecting. You're doing the rejecting. You're walking away. You're abandoning a person, a relationship, a situation, a job, something of that nature. You are, someone's feeling rejected or abandoned. I feel someone, even if you're walking away from like a job, other people are feeling like, oh, they just up and left. Like they just rejected, right? It feels like a hundred percent though, like a total cutting of ties. That's how it feels. It feels really intense, Scorps. Hey, if, if you need to do it, you need to do it. But yeah, this is definitely about abandonment and rejection. And it feels like, I keep wanting to say 100, hardcore. Like, no shadow of a doubt. Like, no gray area. Like, like it is what it is. Any messages for Scorpio regarding love for the first half of December? Any messages for Scorpio regarding love for the first half of December? Do not tell me we're going to have a one card reading. <laughs> That'd be crazy. Any messages for Scorpios regarding love for the first half of December? Your friends and family will be shocked. What? <laughs> That's literally what I just heard. That's obviously not for all of you. Your friends and family will be shocked. Almost like speechless. Scorpios, what the hell are you doing? I'm just like, <laughs> this is crazy. This is crazy. Okay. Any messages? E. There's a five of swords, but now in reverse. Because why? Because you're walking away. You're walking away. If you're dealing with a fraud, you're not dealing with that shit anymore. 
it just feels really awful. Whatever it is you're leaving behind, you needed to shift this focus, Scorpio. I feel like if you had stayed or if you continue to stay in this, it's going to really bite you in the ass. It's going to really bite you in the ass. Any other messages for Scorpio? Any other messages for Scorpio? Wow. Knight of Cups in reverse. I just heard Charmer. Piscean energy could also be water or fire. Uh, yeah, there, there's a Charmer on the board here, okay? Could be someone who's very manipulative. This could be your fraud, okay? This does not feel good. I gotta be honest, this does not feel like a good energy. This is a Charmer. I, I keep hearing Charmer, Charmer, Snake, Charmer. Ooh. Hmm. A fraud. You are no longer gonna be dealing with this person. It's almost... Some of you, it's almost like as soon as this person tries something, you're cutting it off. Like it could be that quick. This could be a, this could be someone that you've only known for a very short period of time or someone you've known for a long time. Someone you've been dealing with for a long time or whatever, whatever the case. I, f yeah, I feel like once they just get started in doing something really awful or shitty, you cut it off and you feel very compelled. I keep wanting to do that. You feel very compelled to, and there's a sense of time in the back of your head. Oh God, Scorpios. Knight of Cups in Reverse can also be someone who is emotionally manipulative, like the person who will like tell you they love you and then like try to like leave you. You know what I mean? Yeah, I feel like you're on alert, Scorpio. Any other messages for Scorpio? Wow, that's it. Overall energy. Jesus. Three of Pentacles in Reverse. Oh, God. Scorpio and Ace of Swords in Reverse. I feel lies with this. Lies. Someone was not on your side. Oh. Scorpio, someone wasn't on your side. It could be totally work-related. I Yeah, I feel like you're, you're cutting ties with somebody. And it's almost like just in the nick of time. Oh, Scorps, I'm so sorry. This kind of sucks. I mean, you're doing it in a very Scorpionic way. When Scorpios are in situations like this, they're like, oh, I'm done. <laughs> No remorse, no nothing, I'm done. Like Scorpios are very good at that. Um, but yeah, you're cutting someone off like just in the nick of time. Just in the nick of time. Let's look at the Four of Cups in reverse. I'm gonna use Rider Wait for this one. Let's talk about Four of Cups in reverse. Let's talk about Four of Cups in reverse for Scorpio regarding love for the first half of December. About four of cups yeah it doesn't matter how long you've known this person five seconds five minutes five days five weeks five months five years it doesn't matter i don't know why i want to say five. oh that's why i want to say five because this is a major change and whatever sh again it's about it's all catalyzed by the shift that you're making Talk about the four of cups in reverse Talk about the four of cups in reverse for scorpio regarding love for the first half of december Oh my God, yikes, what did I just say? There's the freaking tower. Five by five, very indicative of the tower. Scorpio with the four of cups. Yeah, this is major rejection. Whatever this tower moment is, I feel like that's your realization or your shift of focus. It could be that you realize you have to shift your focus and that's you do that. Others, you're gonna shift your focus and then you're gonna realize, oh, that's who you are. Wow. Tell me more about the Four of Cups in Reverse. Tell me about the Four of Cups in Reverse for Scorpio regarding love for the first half of December. I'm hearing January. Some of you, this might not play out till January. Oh, yeah, you're over it, Scorpio. So I have a Cups in Reverse, Scorpionic Energy. You get over this shit real fucking quick. Total Scorpio. Tell me about the Four of Cups in Reverse. Talking about the Four of Cups in Reverse for Scorpio regarding love. Yeah, I like, even if you felt a little quiver of pain or upsetness or disappointment, it's gone very quickly. Talking about Four of Cups in Reverse for Scorpio. <laughs> Shit. Wow. So the sun came out again. Upright, Leo, landed right on the Knight of Cups in Reverse. You are illuminating the fraud. And it's all because of your shift of focus, which I do feel like is the very first thing that happens is the shift of focus here. And it's just in the nick of time. And you're going towards happiness. 
you're going to a whole a whole new a whole new like i'm just getting a whole new insert blank for yourself oh no did i not just hear a whole new world okay i don't know what that's about wait a minute isn't that from aladdin I'm trying to hear the lyrics hold on that's a love song isn't it oh okay scorpio it's just got interesting so for a, well it's been pretty damn interesting so far so for some of you definitely not all of you because that song came in for a reason. That's interesting. That definitely came up for a reason. Some of you, just in the nick of time, are shifting your focus to a potential new love or a new path that may lead you to a new love or just a new whatever. But for some of you, it is a new love interest. And that's actually revealing the, like someone you've been dealing with who's actually been a fraud. Love, friend, family, coworker, whatever. Okay? You're going to be... And, and for those who are in that boat, you're going to be like, wow, it's a good thing I did that. It's a good fucking thing I did that. Overall energy, we have the Hermit, Virgo energy, and then we have the Four of Swords. Wow, Two of Swords in reverse. Yeah, you're following your intuition here with the hair font. This is Virgo, uh, two Libra cards, Moon and Libra, and then we have Taurus here, Earth and and Air. I keep wanting to say, I almost said Fire. Keep it on the Fire sign. You could have that in your chart. Four of Swords is the minor to the major for the Hermit. So definitely spending some time in contemplation about this. But whatever this shift of focus is, I feel like you're finding it in this state, a meditative state of like, oh, no, I need to change or I need to not do this anymore or something's telling me to not deal with this person anymore. And then boom, you do that. You make that clear headed decision by following your intuition. Ooh. By following your intuition here. OK. And whoever this person is, whoever the fraud is, like I said, it could be a lover potential lover it could be a spouse it could be a friend it could be a family member it could be a coworker. it's gonna be different for all of you and this realization of i need to shift the focus turns into a tower moment you're shifting your focus it's revealing the fraud you get over real fucking quick for some of you this change is just a personal one in your own life path or your work or whatever and for some of you it's bittersweet but you get over that really quickly because you realize how amazing wherever it is you're going to next is going to be and others, it's the illumination that you were dealing with a fraud and you're like, oh, very happy I made that decision as quick as I did. I feel like time is of the essence with this. If that's resonating with you, you'll know. You'll feel the pressure. You'll feel the pressure of it. All right, now let's look at the Five of Swords. Jesus, this is getting intense. I really want to use Santa Muerte for this one. So let's go ahead and do that. So I got Five of Swords in reverse. I got Five of Swords in reverse for Scorpio for the first half of December. And like I said, I want to reiterate this. They're pushing me to. Some of you, whatever your your shift of focus is, after you spend time thinking about where you should shift your focus, is an actual person, like a potential romantic interest, whole new world, total romantic song. You're going to go into a new beginning there, and that is going to trigger this fraud to reveal who they really are. So I have the Five of Swords in reverse. Tell me about the Five of Swords in reverse for Scorpio for the first half of December. Tell me about the Five of Swords in reverse for Scorpio for the first half of December. Tell me about the Five of Swords in reverse for Scorpio. Oh, I thought it was the Three of Swords, but sometimes it's hard to see these cards. Three of Swords. Wow. There's some pain right there. For some, this could involve a third party situation because like I said, for some, you're shifting your focus from one person to another, ending a third party situation, but also cutting out someone who's who's just a charmer, who's just a fraud, who is putting on a bit of an act, okay? So I have the Five of Swords in reverse. I did just hear betrayal and there's justice in reverse. Libra, I knew I felt that justice card somewhere. Ooh, this feels awful. This feels like a betrayal. But I, I keep getting that you're catching it in time. You're catching it in time. You're catching it in time. Now, Scorps, if this is a third party situation for me, like going from one person to another, as opposed to making your own internal life change and it's triggering this other person you're dealing with. Um, oh, shit. That just went. Oh, that's weird. That was just ripped away from me really, real damn quick. Oh, that was weird. You could be any one of these three people, okay? So just know that as well. Okay, that's what it was. That's so weird. It was like it was ripped away from me. Hmm. So I got five of swords in reverse. You might be dealing with someone who's also intuitive. 
Pisces energy. Pisceans are very intuitive. Talk about five of swords. Two of swords, moon and Libra energy. Two. I'm hearing two. Like literally two. Two? Are there two frauds here? I want to say no. There's something about two. Maybe you're saying two, two, two. But I'm getting something about two. Hold on, this is really bothering me. Well, we're going from the three of swords to the two of swords with justice in the middle. Like I said, you're cutting someone out. Oh, and then there were two. Why does it sit wrong with me? But then there were two. Okay. So it's that decision. It's that same decision that, that we already got in the pre-shuffle, right? The decision to literally cut someone from the three to the two using the ace of swords. We literally have the ace of swords, the two of swords, and the three of swords. Talk about five of swords in reverse. We're going to look at this injustice. Talk about five of swords in reverse. Overall energy. Yeah, it's that same damn charmer. <laughs> Knight of cups in reverse. Piscean energy it could also be water or air underneath that we do have the chariot can't see an energy yeah you're you're pulling away from this charmer whoever this charmer is let's I, let's take a look at injustice shall we scorpios what this has probably been the most intense reading i've done so far for this entire month and there goes my third eye <laughs> uh yeah let's look at injustice Really tempted to use Lenormand deck. Ooh, but the Haunted deck almost sounds really fitting. No, that one confuses me sometimes. Yeah, let's, let's go with Lenormand. We're going to do OG. Tell me about Justice in Reverse. What's this Injustice? What's this Injustice about? Tell me what Injustice is about here. Tell me about Justice in Reverse. Then we're going to look at this actual Charmer. Talking about justice in reverse. Someone's going to feel really upset about this choice. Really upset, Scorpio. And I think it's really just because you got away in time. What the fuck? So we have the letter. Communication with the Seven of Swords. 27 breaking down to a 9. So completions. This is going to close out a major cycle for some of you. But the injustice is regarding some communication. Talk about justice in reverse. Talk about justice in reverse. Talk about justice in reverse for Scorpio for the first half. Uh-oh, of December. Tell me about justice in reverse. Oh, my. Oh, this is interesting. Yep. The getaway. <laughs> the female with the ace of swords. With the ace of swords. And the ship, the ten of swords, an ending. Scorpio, this injustice, you're getting away from it. You're, you're, getting, you're getting away from this fraud. And someone's really pissed about it. Someone's really fucking irritated. Over energy, we do have the book. The book is usually about secrets or knowledge with the Ten of Pentacles. I'm feeling family again with this. This is interesting. You could be heading towards family or moving in with family. We do have the chariot out here. Chariot is heavy movement. Whatever it is, you're getting away from this fraud. Whatever the fraud is, whoever they are. And it's because you. it's like you knew something intuitively and you just went with it. You just trusted it. So if you're debating about something, but you're feeling really intense pressure to do a major shift of focus away from someone or a situation or way of doing something, please pay attention to that because it could be your higher self being like, yo, do something right now. <laughs> do it now. You're going to really regret not doing it. Do it now. Yeah, I'm actually getting that really strong. You're going to regret not doing it. So you better do it now. You better do it now. Wow. Really intense, Scorp. So let's look at this charmer. See what they're about. I'm going to use Cosmic for this one. Where are we at? Oh, 29 minutes. Oh, we're doing good time. <laughs> Ace of Swords with the Eight of Pentacles. That focus. Talk about the, the, tell me about the Nine of Cups in Reverse. Oh, that's weird. I put the deck back for the, uh, for the Lenormand deck. I like put it away and then two cards left behind. Oh, my. 
the loyalty card with the child. Child can be immature, immature loyalty. You might have trusted someone too fast, too early, Scorpio. Knight of Swords with the Ten of Cups. That's immature communication about loyalty. Yeah, you might have trusted someone too early, too quickly. Or again, it's like it's the immaturity attached to loyalty. It's not real loyalty. Loyalty. It's like the loyalty of a child to another child, right? It's like not saying you're a child. I mean, it's that kind of like way of looking at loyalty. Children aren't exactly like loyal unless it's to their parents, right? Interesting. So with the Knight of Cups in reverse. So with the Knight of Cups in reverse. Uh oh, we've got a magician. Mercurial, Virgo, Gemini. Could also be Aqua or Scorp for me as a reader. Divine masculine energy. This person might be just as intuitive as you are, Scorpio. I was already picking up on that, but they might really have it. Look at that third eye. It wasn't, I was like, oh, there goes my third eye. Yep, third eye. Doing a lot of, and there's, I'm getting like fire with that. I'm just seeing the triangle, the fire triangle. The fire triangle, you know what I mean. The alchemical symbol for fire. Could be a fire sign, but not necessarily. Hold on. Mm -hmm. Magician can be a manipulator. <clears throat> Some of the Knight of Cups in reverse. Some of the Knight of Cups in reverse. For Scorpio, for the first half of December. <coughs> oh, Scorpio. <coughs> Eight of Wands in reverse. They were trying to stop you from doing something. They were trying to put a stop to your path. Oh, God. Hold on a second. <coughs> oh, man. That's what I'm getting with this. They were charming you, Scorpio, to put an end to you or to stop you from doing something or get in your way. Something like that. I just feel major. They, they were trying to manifest blocks. They were trying to manifest blocks with you. So I have the Nine of Cups in reverse. Some of you are asking if they had like a huge plan. I, I can't tell yet if they had a huge plan, but they knew what their intentions were. So I have the Nine of Cups in reverse. So I have the Nine of Cups in reverse. For Scorpio for the first half of December. So I have the Nine of Cups in reverse for Scorpio. Wow. Wow. Ace of Swords, the truth. I felt like for a couple times, Scorpio, if you knew this person for a while, that you kind of got close to the truth a couple times. And for whatever reason, they stopped you because I'm also getting the blocks with the truth. Overall energy, Seven of Cups, confusion. I'm also getting, I am actually getting mental illness with this. I'm not saying there's anything like wrong with this person, like at their core. They've got a lot of stuff they got to, uh, you know, figure out for themselves, though, as far as like how they went about this, because this is like this really feels like someone who knew what they wanted. They wanted to prohibit you from doing whatever it was you were doing. They were charming you. They were manipulative and you're getting away from them just in time. Wow, because deep down you, you knew you knew something wasn't right. Your intuition told you. Your intuition told you. And Scorpio, if you're going off into, with someone new, because some of you are, that means there's three people here. So again, decide who you are in the situation. You could be any one of these people. I'm actually curious about the sun, actually. Yeah, let's look at the sun, because I want to see where you're going a little bit. Because I feel a person there. Let's use the other Lenormand deck. Tell me about the sun. Tell me about the sun for Scorpio. And other and it is also about illumination, right? It is also about like, oh damn, I like I thank God I did this. Uh we have the tower, which is very much like the hair font again, like your higher self kind of energy with the uh six of swords. So moving moving away from something, moving away from this crazy ass situation. Uh the tower is also indicative of institution and knowledge. Talking about the sun. Talking about the sun. The new path. 
Mm -hmm. Queen of Pentacles, energy of 22, self-mastery. Again, you choosing that new path for yourself by cutting out this person or just shifting your focus and going on a new path here. I feel like a lot of you, that's how it's starting. And the risk. Ooh, we got the risk on the board. Gambling. It could also indicate juggling. Indicating juggling two people. Like I said, Scorpio, for some, this could be between like you're getting away from someone to go towards someone. Or going towards someone to get away from someone. You'll know if that's for you. Play more about the sun. Whatever. And for those where it's like a, a shift of focus in, on your path, it's a gamble. It's a risk. There's a risk associated with it. But you're, you're following your gut. Tell me about the sun. Following your higher self. Tell me about the sun for Scorpio for the first half of December. Wow. It's a damn good thing you did. Look, messenger with the nine of cups. Messenger is movement. Getting on the horse and going. Of overall energy wow yeah some of you it's definitely a person that you're heading towards look at that we've got the man with the ace of cups by the way and then the clover which is like it's luck it's luck it's blessing six of wands victory and attention victory and attention yeah some of you are going right into someone new so uh someone where i'm, I'm getting like a blessing something like with blessing about this and it's a gamble but you're doing it and some of you are leaving someone behind, which is this fraud. Others of you, this fraud is just like a friend or a family member or a coworker. And you shifting your focus is just in the nick of time because they've been trying to stop you. They've been trying to stop you. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Scorpio. Holy shit. Some of you, I gotta be honest, Scorpio, some of you, this person might have been... I, I don't want to use say the word magic because I feel like it's all energetic, which magic is just energy, energy manipulation. They might have been actually manipulating the energy around you so that you actually couldn't see. With all the Ace of Swords here, yeah, so that you actually couldn't see what you were supposed to be doing or where you were supposed to be going. Don't know what all those noises were all of a sudden. Um, take that as confirmation. But Scorpio, you're going to find out who the fraud is. You will. And for some of you, like you might have just known in your gut but taking this time out to figure out what shift of focus you have to make, whether it's directly to a person. Some, oh, I just heard faded. Faded meeting. Some of you, this is a faded meeting. Yeah, whether it's to a person or you're shifting your focus in life and that's leading you to a faded meeting of sorts, um, it's the right thing. And it, you're and again, just in the nick of time. Something like just in the nick of time. Wow. Okay, Scorpio, I'm tired now. <laughs> I'm exhausted. By the way, I'm having soup tonight. I'm so excited. I don't know why I feel the need to tell you that. Anyway, Scorpio, let's pull the goddess deck for you. I don't think you really need it, but something's telling me to, so I'm just running with it. Go. Hold on, I'm trying to make space. There we go. What energy should my Scorpios harness for the first half of December regarding this spread? What energy should my Scorpios harness regarding this spread? What energy should my Scorpios harness regarding this spread? I'm here. I'm actually hearing protection, Scorpio. Yeah, some of you, this person was energetically trying to fuck with you. Whoever this fraud is. I don't like that. Mm -mm. I don't like that shit whatsoever. No, no, no. Mm -mm. It's actually getting, getting me angry, to be honest with you. It's actually getting me angry because it's like, I mean, there's there's a whole lot of fuckery going on with this person. Sorry, I guess I have to go on a little rant. There's a whole lot of fuckery going on with this person. It's one thing to be like, I don't want Scorpio to have this. It's And it's another thing to be like, all right, well, maybe I won't, I won't be super honest about my intentions with Scorpio, whatever. But to actually energetically try to fuck with somebody. Sorry. La, 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 la. Okay. <laughs> Show me the energy that will best benefit my Scorpios regarding this spread. Show me the energy that will best benefit my Scorpios regarding this spread. Fucking kidding me. Sorry. Wait a minute. Where the hell did that come card come from? Okay, that's weird. That's really weird. All of a sudden, a, Lenor a Lenormand card, like one of these, just showed up randomly on the board. That's crazy, because I mean, I haven't touched those in a while, except to show you, like, you know. Oh, no, wait, is that the ship? 
how did it get over there? Okay, no, it's just the ship. I, I did already show it to you. I was like, what the hell? But it moved. It definitely moved. That's been happening to me a lot since I've been back. Uh, they really want me to reiterate, Scorps, get out, get away, shift your focus now. End whatever you got to end and shift your focus now. What energies? Okay, let's see. We have, ooh, I've never gotten this one before for you guys. Actually, for anybody when I've used these, and I don't know how to say this one. <laughs> Forgive me if I don't pronounce the goddess names pro properly. I keep wanting to say Barracuda, but obviously that's not it. Aracura? Aracua? I, that's really embarrassing. I'll, I, I'm, well, I'm going to read it regardless. Blossoming, you are just getting started. So have patience with yourself and the process and don't give up. Ooh, I like that. Yeah, again, with that risk, for some of you, the shift of focus is a risk. You can do it, though. You can do it. Let's see the other ones want to come out for you guys. By the way, whatever's meant for you is meant for you, even if someone energetically energetically fucks with you. What other energies do my Scorpios need to harness regarding this spread? Yeah, they, some, of, some of them have seriously been trying to keep you from being able to actually see, like intuitively. On the bottom, ooh, Sekhmet, be strong. You are stronger than you think you are, and your strength assures a happy outcome. Be strong, whatever the shift of focus is, Scorpio. It's going to lead you in the right direction. And I feel like once you do this shift, like I said, you're walking right into the sun and it's going to be pretty damn beautiful. So, do, so follow that. All right, let's read these off and then we'll do the animal deck. What the hell? Oh, hold on. Oh, no, there it is. I was like, okay, that has to be there. Er, eroku yeah. Oh, I did say it right. Erokura. Oh, okay. Erokura. Blossoming. You are just getting started, so have patience with yourself in the process and don't give up. In many ways, you're like a flower bud who is ripe and ready to open and grow. Don't try to rush this process as it's part of your beautiful path. Enjoy learning new knowledge and skills. Take your time to gather new ideas. Nurture your body with plenty of fresh air, sunshine, water, and healthful food. Soon enough, you'll get the unmistakable signal that it's time to put your learning into action. Time. Listen to that, Scorpio. Do not ignore that. Do not ignore that, okay? Spend, listen to it. That's a better way for me to say it. Listen to that. Listen to that. Spend time among flowers and work with flower essences and oils to support your growth process. Slow down, have patience, get involved with gardening. Use aromatherapy and our flower essences and keep the faith. Etakuda is a Celtic and Germanic goddess who multitasks as an earth mother deity, a fairy queen, and also a bridge between earthly life and the hereafter. She helps us put our goals and challenges into perspective so we don't needlessly stress ourselves. Call upon her for emergency money or help in manifesting supply. She's especially fond of assisting artists and inventors. Very nice. Just double check in time. We're good. We're good. It feels so much later than it is, and it's really throwing me. Oh, maybe because I was in Arizona. All right. Sekhmet, be strong. You are stronger than you think you are and your strength assures a happy outcome. See yourself as strong and victorious. Don't complain about anything. Don't blame anyone or any condition. You're the embodiment of strength, not victimhood. As you rise above the old tendencies and see yourself in the new light and beautiful feminine strength, your life will automatically shift in miraculous ways. You'll attract new opportunities, forms of abundance and relationships to help you manifest your highest potential. Be strong. Being strong means seeing yourself in the most favorable light and light you can imagine. Be real. Allow yourself to feel genuine emotions, but most of all, be strong. Don't underestimate yourself. Don't yield to pressure or temptation. Oh, interesting. Avoid complaining or indulging in negative thinking. Engage in weight training exercises to make your body stronger. This Egyptian goddess, Egyptian sun goddess, oh, that's interesting, it was getting fire, right? Uh, is a fiery protector of who's married, oh, wow, to the Egyptian deity path. Oh, typo. Interesting. Her, her name means strong and mighty. Sekhmet is connect, connected with lions, symbolizing her fiercely protective nature, and sometimes appears with a lion's head and a human woman's body. That just makes me think of um, the felines, for those with, who are of galactic interest. That makes me think of the felines. Um, call upon Sekhmet to shore up your strength and power. Ooh, don't you feel it, Scorpios? <laughs> I felt it reading that for you guys. 
Okay, let's use a spirit animal deck for advice and then we'll wrap this up. I am gonna have to stitch this, so there's gonna be a second missing. I'll try to catch it so you don't miss it that one second, but you know, you got it, it should be fine. Any advice for my Scorpios regarding this spread? Any advice for my Scorpios regarding this spread? Any advice for my Scorpios regarding this spread? Mm. Any advice for my Scorpios regarding this spread? Any advice for my Scorpios regarding this spread? Any advice for my Scorpios regarding this spread? Mm, moss spirit, surrender now. 39 breaking down to a three. Surrender to your intuition. Surrender to your intuition. Uh, again, Scorpio, it's not like you're not intuitive and it's not like you're not trying, but someone's clearly trying to block your intuition. And I feel like it's energetic, like trying to manipulate you. They could even be feeding you like flat out lies. You know what I mean? To confuse the hell out of you. Okay. So just know that, but surrender to your own intuition and to your higher self. It's interesting because it's like it's it's moth but like you see this thing that he's dragging behind him i feel like that's almost like you to connect to your higher self here like your higher self's trying really hard to help you so pay attention Ooh, yep wasp spirit sometimes life stings you are closing out a cycle by shifting your focus and surrendering to that and surrendering to that change scorpios you're not afraid to change you're not but for whatever reason this person this fraud in your life friend family coworker, lover whoever past, present, future, you know, past, present, not future, because they should already be in your life. Um, yeah, I feel like they would already be in your life established in some way, shape or form. Um, you got to shift this focus. They don't want you to see what you're supposed to do. They don't want you to be on your path. They don't want good things for you. It's right now either. Oh, damn it. Try to not take other people's advice either. Okay. Listen to your. Okay. Just dropped all the cards on myself. Listen to yourself. Your higher self specifically. And if you're making some kind of shift of focus or move, don't tell anybody about it either. Since you don't, some of you really don't have no idea who the fraud is. Any other advice? Any other advice for my Scorpios regarding this spread? Yep. Oh, basically exactly what I just said. Any other advice for my Scorpios regarding this spread? <laughs> Fox spirit with grasshopper. 27 breaking down to a nine. I think we had 27 here too, didn't we? Oh yeah, we did. With the communication. Yep. And then grasshopper spirit. Take a leap of faith. 30 breaking down to a three. This is also news. People might just be getting news of your shift. Because, yeah, because you're supposed to keep it to yourself, Scorpio. Fox, the cleverness, the slyness, a little sneaky. Yeah. Keep whatever moves you're making to yourself. This is my full card in this deck. And you are the fool. You came out as the fool, taking on something new, shifting your focus. Keep it to yourself. Overall energy, we have Sandpiper Spirit. Be playful. You're going to come into a really amazing time, Scorpio. A really fun time. A really joyous time. Something that you really have earned and deserve. <sighs> you're doing this just in time. There was a lot of uh, advice about being patient. That patience is about this energy. Being patient for the answer from your higher self. But once you get that answer, you better go. Okay. You better go fast and quietly because <laughs> you're, you're going to have an awesome time. I'm so excited for you, Scorpios. But yeah, whoever this fraud is, you'll find out who they are. And remember, it's judgment day. We are in judgment day energy and it's only getting stronger. So if someone wants to be a dick or someone wants to be manipulative, they're going to reap the karmic, you know repercussions of that okay all right scorpios i hope you guys enjoyed that uh don't forget to check out vimeo <laughs> patreon and instagram and i will see you guys later have a great night scorpios namaste